So lots of people have been asking me, why am I migrating my Facebook groups away from Facebook? And it's really interesting time on the internet right now because of the things that are going on with Facebook, the things that are, that are going on with Twitter, and lots of other really, really large companies that have basically monopolized those areas that they are in. When I first started using the internet, even before it was called the internet, <laughs> they, they there weren't any of these big players. It was all individuals and privately run servers and just much smaller groups and communities. And if you wanted to find something, you would go on to a search engine, which was not Google at the time. And you would type in what you were getting or looking for, and chances are you wouldn't find it, but you'd find a group that was talking about the topic you were interested in. So fast forward to now, Facebook has become the central point for most people's social media, along with Twitter. And basically what is happening now is that Facebook and Twitter are crumbling. And Facebook in particular keep changing and keep moving the goalposts. So a year or two years ago, Facebook groups was the place to be in Facebook. And it was a button at the bottom of the mobile app. It was at the top of your screen every time you went on the website from a computer. And now they're practically gone. The button is no longer there on the mobile app. You have to go into two or three different places before you even find it. In addition to that, I'm sure you've noticed the quantity and quality of adverts that you're being exposed to on Facebook. They are relentless and they seem to know an awful lot about you. So, you know, you can have a conversation about a particular product and next thing you know, it's advertised to you on Facebook. That's because most of your messages in one shape or form are being tracked. So basically what's happening now is it's the next iteration of the internet. People are calling it Web 3.0. And this is basically the version of the internet where the groups are becoming decentralized again. So instead of having one big company like Facebook or Twitter, you're getting smaller companies or smaller groups of people coming together and creating uh, a community. And the biggest difference in this is that they aren't sharing your data. They aren't sharing your private information. They're not storing cookies on your computer to see what you've just looked at and send you advertising for them. In fact, on most of these new websites, there's no advertising at all. So how do they do it? They charge a small fee for those that can afford it. It's usually completely optional. Um, but it's usually, if you do decide to pay it, it's it's like three pounds, three dollars a month or something like that. It's incredibly cheap. But as an alternative, it means no tracking, no ridiculous adverts. And most importantly, you get to see the stuff that you want to see. The people that you subscribe to, the, the people that you follow, your friends, you get to see those messages. With Facebook and Twitter, it's filtered. If I post a message on Facebook, um, I'm lucky if I get like 10 to like 50 likes. Unless it's a photograph of me posing or I don't usually post shirtless pictures, but if I post a shirtless picture, I will get a thousand to two thousand likes on that picture. It's basically because of the viral system that Facebook works on. If I post text, te a text piece of information, it probably won't go anywhere. And in the group that I was running, I am still running it, it's still there. In the group that I'm running, I have about 1,500 people in there. If I post a message in there, I can see, it gives me stats on how many people actually see that post. I'm getting between 20 to maybe 100 people. So it's about 
less than 1% of those people that have joined the group, subscribed to the group because they want more information about nutrition, fitness, mental health, well-being, all those kind of things. They're not seeing the posts. So I've made the decision that I'm going to be migrating a lot of my social media onto these other platforms. I'll still be posting stuff on Facebook because there's still a lot of people that only use that. And it's still early days for these, these other systems. So you have to be a little bit tech savvy to, to get them to work. But my Facebook group will now be run on a, a system called Discord. And although it's fairly cheap to run, I am going to be charging a small fee for people to join that. If you can't afford that small fee, please let me know and I'll sort something out for you because I'd rather you were getting the benefit of joining the group and seeing your health and well-being improve than decide it's something that you can't do because you can't afford it. The only caveat is you have to participate you have to be an active member of that group to basically justify getting some support and, uh, you know, cost benefit from that. Um, so that's <laughs> those notifications were the Discord people joining. And um, it's great to see that community is really starting to come alive. So ultimately, the reason why I'm moving off is because Facebook is not showing my messages anymore to people that are actually interested in them. And the amount of adverts and tracking on the system is making me extremely uncomfortable. And so I'm migrating away from that. However, there is a cost involved. Any help you can give with that, that'd be amazing. If not, we can sort something out too. Um, I'm also, I've moved away from Twitter. So I've joined a, um, a site called Mastodon. And that is the Twitter alternative. And again, no adverts. The people that I follow on there, I get to see their messages. Um, I've, been, I've been enjoying that community so much. I have started to pay the optional fee for the server that I'm on there. And it's, it's three, $3 a month. So it's really no skin off my nose for knowing that I'm gonna get the information that I want from the people that I follow without any advertising blocking my enjoyment. So I hope that makes sense. I'm sure you've got loads of questions. Please do post them in the comments. If you see this message, probably you won't because Facebook won't show it because I'm talking about getting off Facebook. Um, but otherwise, please do share this. Please do let other people know. If you'd like more information about the Discord group that I'm currently running, please send me a direct message, a private message or post a comment and I'll contact you directly. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the new system soon. Take care, bye-bye.